Hello everybody, this is Father Rich Gonzalez here, and we've been celebrating the 14th week of Ordinary Time. Now throughout this week, the readings have been truly wonderful and in inspiring us, especially in recognizing that how throughout the times of difficulties, our Lord God is certainly present with us. He is certainly present amongst us. And isn't that what we also need to be reassured of, especially during this time of the coronavirus era? But instead of reflecting upon exactly the readings of this week, of the 14th week in ordinary time, I actually want to reflect upon Psalm 23. You see, recently within our diocese, the Diocese of Corpus Christi, our bishop, Bishop Michael Moby, he's actually suggesting that we begin to pray through Psalm 23 every single day during this time of this pandemic, and hopefully even thereafter, that we may also recognize and celebrate that even in the darkness of times, our Lord God is truly present. So, I'll go ahead and first read a letter from Bishop Mulvey. This is a letter that was sent actually to all the priests to be shared with their parishioners just a few days ago, actually. And presently, the Bishop's letter is on our uh, parish Facebook page and also our parish uh, website, on the main page of our parish website. So here again is a personal letter from our Bishop, the Bishop of Corpus Christi, Bishop Michael Mulvey. Dear sisters and brothers, as the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise, I want to recognize and pray for those who have recently died in your families, parishes, and communities. I assure you that I am praying for all who have died since the pandemic began several months ago. I want to encourage you to pray daily Psalm 23. This Psalm brings consolation and it encourages us to be strong in the dark moments of life. The psalm reminds us that even though we walk in the darkness of life, now COVID-19, we need not fear, for God is there to guide us. In the Garden of Gethsemane, in his own fear of death, Jesus turned in prayer to the Father. He asked that darkness to be taken away. He knew the Father was present in his valley of darkness. His words, not my will, but yours be done, brought him freedom from the fear of darkness. I want to assure you that my prayers are constant and daily. I ask the Father to save us from this dark valley. I also ask God to give everyone courage and wisdom to accept his will in freedom. I ask the Father to send his Holy Spirit to help everyone discover how God loves them, especially in the darkness of this moment. Mother of God, Mother of the Church, and Seed of Wisdom, pray for us. Walk beside us and gently touch the lives of those who are suffering from COVID-19. May God's blessing be upon all of you. Bishop Michael Mulvey, Bishop of Corpus Christi. What an encouraging thing that our bishop is suggesting, that we pray Psalm 23 during this time of the coronavirus pandemic, and how it will also help to unify not only the persons in our diocese of Corpus Christi, but hopefully countless others throughout the country and throughout the world. As we continue then to pray Psalm 23, which is a very short psalm, by the way, in the Old Testament, that how we can see again the strength the goodness, the mercy of our Lord God with each and every one of us. So actually within our parish website and also our parish Facebook page, we have actually uh, made an image of Psalm 23. And you can do what I've done actually and printed it out and to go ahead and place it in your little prayer corner at home or to maybe download it and make it uh, the, the home page for your computer or for your smartphone. Or of course, you know, just crack open that Bible and have a bookmarker right there at Psalm 23. So every day you can go to it. So let's go ahead and read. Let's celebrate Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I lack. In green pastures he makes me lie down. To still waters he leads me. He restores my soul. He guides me along right paths for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You set a table before me in front of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Indeed, goodness and mercy will pursue me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord for endless days. How inspiring, how reassuring, and also through the wisdom and the beauty of the Holy Spirit, how these words are also consoling and offer us healing at this particular time. As we see within Psalm 23, right there at the beginning and also at the end, we see that how the Lord takes prominence, how he is there, how the psalmist again, how, did, how he declares the psalm, this song, this hymn to be sung in honor of our loving God, and how it concludes again with his name, that how we remember on this day and the days to come, how the mighty one, how the merciful one continues to be one with us. We also see throughout the psalm that how there is that reference of you, you, my Lord, you have done this, you lead me, you allow me to rest, you feed me, you are in my life. How there is this true encounter, this relationship with our loving God. How this is a Lord who is not separated from us, who is light years away, but rather the exact opposite how our Lord is closer to us than maybe we can even possibly imagine. He knows exactly what we need. We also see, of course, that how throughout the Psalm, Psalm 23, we see that how there is this identification, how we, how we take notice then of the Lord being with us. But there's only this one sentence, this one part of a verse where we see that how we are walking in darkness. Because it's right there, that moment of walking in darkness, such as we are right now, and the uncertainties of COVID-19 and this era, how in a moment we may be walking in darkness because we may be overwhelmed, we may be uncertain, we may be anxious. But then, almost in the blink of an eye, aha, we are reminded, and we do take notice, how our Lord God is there with us every step of the way with his rod and his staff to give us courage, with his love and his mercy right there alongside each and every one of us. I love this, and I am thankful that how our bishop is encouraging us to pray Psalm 23 every day, not just during this time of this pandemic, but hopefully every day to come, because I believe, truly, that this day, that this era of the pandemic of COVID-19 will come to an end. Because even though this is a dark valley, our Lord remains faithful to us. And as we see within Psalm 23, the Lord and the disciple walk through, walk away from that dark valley into the light and into greener pastures. How encouraging this is for each and every one of us to read and to pray and to celebrate how our Lord, our true shepherd, our good shepherd, in a strong and merciful and loving way, is one with us. In those moments of darkness, let us not despair. Let us look ahead. Let us look up. For our Lord is there. May God bless you. Today, tomorrow, and always. And I'll see you real soon.